Hello, my good friends. Happy Sunday. It's Gord. You're hurting hippie. And maybe for once I fooled you. Maybe for once I fooled you on the title below. Maybe you don't know what it means. In fact, pause right now and give your guess. And then edit your comment as to whether your guess was right. I don't know. A little game to play. <clears throat> so good morning. It's Sunday. It is uh, almost 8.30 in the morning. And your hippie slept in. I slept in till 7.30. Yeah, that's long for me. That's long for me. Uh, and I maybe beat my, for one day anyway, I'm going to keep a positive attitude, but I maybe beat my, uh, my 4 a.m. sadness today. I, well, I did beat it today. Maybe got it licked. Maybe not. I got to understand these things come and go, and sometimes we're prepared and sometimes we're not. But let me talk about it. WWPD, sorry, I had to think about that. What would Pasha do? Uh, it's something I thought about yesterday. Is if that young man of mine can go through a trauma event like that and bounce right back. Yes, I know the bounce back ability of the youth is incredible. But if my young man can do it, and not only not cry or be scared because of the memories, but take the situation and make it a really positive one, well then, hey, Cookie, then maybe so can I. You know, come here. Come on. You went up. Somebody wanted to come and say hi. So here's my little girl, and this is how she sits on me. She likes to sit here and just sit. We call it humaning. She's trying to human. But a uh, silly dog, a very silly dog that will never lick my face. Thank goodness. But she licks her son, my son's face. Anyway, say, say hi. And that's it. Okay? Uh, so... I tried it out last night. I decided, you know what? Stop stressing. Stop having so much trouble and really seriously think about what your son would do if he were in the same situation. And I woke up, as usual, with my IBS troubles at 4 a.m. And I think of a lot of you when that happens. And This time I just said, I, I mean, I understand. I'm not going to, with, with a mental attitude, I'm not going to overdo the pain. I'm not going to get rid of that morning pain. I'm not going to get rid of that morning rumbling and difficulty in the bathroom. But I also always wake up with that, with these horrible thoughts coming in. And with, oh my goodness, what do I do here? What do I do there? The whole day ahead of me, or week ahead of me, lays on my shoulders when I get up. And this morning, I shooed it away. I shooed it away. I said, no, I'm not going to deal with it. Because my little boy wouldn't. I heard my little boy get up once. And he went to the bathroom and he went back to bed. And so I went to the bathroom and I went back to bed. And no, I didn't sleep straight from 4 till 7.30 when I woke up. I woke, I probably made five trips to the bathroom. But I'm pretty sure I slept in between them. And I had a tiny bit of tears come out one of those times. And then I again, WWPD. He wouldn't cry sitting on the toilet. He took this incident and turned it around, and he's had a fantastic weekend. He really has. 
His only big difficulty was dealing with me yesterday morning and my tears. And I try not to show them around him, but I also want him to see that a man can cry and it's okay to cry. In fact, it's a part of our psyche. My daughter has always said, if you feel like crying, instead of just being all weepy, cry, let it out. It's lethargic. It clears your system. So I, I, I weigh the, the moments out and sometimes I let him see me like that. Some, and I very much explain it. We've, we always have deep talks. I'm a deep talker. I like to talk. <laughs> That's, <laughs> that goes without saying, you guys know me well enough. I love to talk, and I love to have conversations not about the weather, but about, about life in general and how we deal with things and how we can turn opportunities. And I'm so good at giving advice because I've, I've been lucky to live through a lot of crap and a lot of lessons, but I'm poor at taking advice, especially my own. The more I give it out, the more I hear it, and the more I take it in. And that's why I, that's one more of my reasons that I like this channel, it is because while, while I'm giving some advice, my feelings, my thoughts, my opinions, they reverberate back in my mind as to why aren't you listening to that young man? And yeah, I call myself young man. I gotta keep the little bit of youth going. I'm 57, I'm almost 58. And that's starting away on my mind too. To be sick when you start your old age could make for a difficult old age, or maybe it's just the way everybody always was and we're just more open with our pain now. I know my mom was not in good shape at, at 57 years old, but she never had her first heart attack until into her 70s. So, and she did not look after herself. I do look after myself. I've shared it in Instagram. I. I have a goal to walk 6,000 steps a day, which is about, depending on the size of the steps and the briskness of the walk, is about three and a half to four kilometers. And for the most part, I get near it and sometimes beat it. This last week, I actually hit it four out of seven days, but two of those Thursday, Friday were because, wow, I had lots to do because of what Pasha went through. An update to those of you still with me, because uh, it's you caring people that stay till the end. Uh, my ability to sue has basically watered away. I, I think most of you are aware my ex-wife has full custody of my son. I never bothered. When she left, she got full custody. Uh, it's a long story, and she maybe regrets it now. I don't know if she does, but, but she pres to get custody, to keep custody, she really went hard on the fact that I, I do medical marijuana and it was pretty new then and the judge really hammered down on me. So I, I don't have any cussy. I don't have any say in the future of my boy, legally. The reason I've never changed that, the reason why I've never challenged that is it makes no difference. His mother, confides in me and asks for advice all the time. If there's something important in his life, we make that decision together regardless what the law states as to who can make it. But the insurance company for the, for the cab company has 
can only deal with the legal guardian of the child. So they're dealing with her and she's coming to me for advice. So it'll all work out, but she'll be the one to make the decision. And unless they come forward, they are dealing with us. So they will come forward with a settlement with or without lawyers involved. If the settlement seems fair, there will be no calling a lawyer. Uh, we're trying to be honest and fair and let karma take over. She believes in the hippie way, um, and we know I do too. So, this is getting longer and longer now that I can sit here and be more comfortable and talk with y'all, and I can get my thoughts out more clearly rather than sitting on the porch. Not saying I won't. Uh, El Chulo 13, I know you like me on the porch. I'll be, I was already back there two days ago, and I'll be back there again. But until then, until then, this is my studio, and yes, I'm going to develop something where I have maybe a, a rig set up here so I can have a couple of tokes and, while I talk to you, that kind of thing. That will be coming. Friends, thanks for watching. WWPD, think what a child will do. They, they don't think in large, large, large concepts. And yet, here's my Pasha thinking about how precious life is after a traumatic event and how he needs to grab onto it and make it work for him. Like I told him, let's take that school issue and make it your bitch. So, peace, my friends, love, and harmony. I love you. Love each other. Thumbs up if you're still here. Subscribe. Peace. And I, I just not very good at ending this because I still have so much more to say. Peace, friends.